only these few things sir and uh, we will see that we will double the capacities and farmers will be very happy and most prosperous thank you sir rajesh sir we met earlier also yes. these things are under examination by the department uh, i think one or two connected files are under examination even by my office also i do not since i do not want to make any false promises right across it is under examination i think there will be a favorable disposal thank you sir uh, may i request mr pramod choudhury with praj industries please S sir uh, congratulations for the all the progress in the short span my question is in continuation to what mr shiv kumar said and what rajasri madam said uh, agri also produces lot of agri residue and agri residue is a very rich in energy so we are promoting uh, from ci side bioenergy movement which can help to improve the environment also take care of climate change aspects so may i request sir if you can look into this bioenergy policy of the state you can be one of the first state to take it forward <coughs> in that direction thank you let me be very frank on this front since we were suffering the power power crisis the time of the time when the state incepted we are just now overcoming that problem we need to have some firm power with us which can be supplied 24 into 7 we are in a we are in a very serious effort on to that and i think we have succeeded in, in procuring about 91000 crores for producing about 25000 megawatts of power by 2019 as explained by our chief secretary 12000 megawatts plan has been already prepared submitted to the required agencies clearances have come works have been awarded to the bhgl they are going to start it another 4000 megawatts has promised as mandated to the ntpc which is the national thermal power corporation recently we had a meeting with them they are also putting in their best effort i think that also is expected to come up as expected once these things are complete simultaneously anyway we are going for this green power called solar energy it's a there's a very good encouragement on this front in fact we have called bids for about 2000 megawatts and we have received bids for 6000 megawatts that's the kind of development is there in this front i was just telling mr mazumdar also this bio electricity it is already existing in telangana but it was a flop hardly they give any plf that doesn't contribute anything to the plf it's quite vulnerable unless a strong policy is made and this how to how best we can utilize the agriculture residue in the modern way in a modern uh, technique with a modern technique it cannot be a success the present experience is like that is i think i across the country also the experience is the same and there was some uh, biomass plants were there yes, this rice has kind of thing those experiments were also experimented here uh, once we become a surplus state with the firm power then we can go for these experiments thank you sir uh, we'll switch to real estate a little now uh, may i request neil raja to from he's from the raiza group yeah i know hello sir firstly i must congratulate you we've been operating in uh, telangana hyderabad uh, for over 10 years we have a joint venture yes, with yes. your government and uh, our life couldn't have been much easier in the last one year because earlier it was question of why hyderabad and now people are happily coming into hyderabad we have developed space for about 50% of the it exports comes from facilities from us but the one feedback we've got actually from a lot of our tenants is that earlier there was a concern of surplus power which we were addressed uh, and we're doing a lot of good measures for is why can't we have open access which is allowed under the electricity act to the center freely for our it companies to use one of the things they will be able to achieve because i uh, power cost and power is one of the highest cost for them if we can freely allow them to have open access whether it's renewable energy or or from whichever outside sources 
their cost of operations will be much lower and it can seriously be a fillip uh, to the industry. So my suggestion is if you could consider free open access with whatever the transmission charges and all are, it will make a big difference in growing that power, uh, in growing the IT industry. The second suggestion was, sir, you know, we've got... Um, the second suggestion was uh, we have among the best infrastructure in India for the uh, convention and uh, business with high techs and uh, the convention center. We also have great uh, tourist facilities, tourist sites to see. One of the challenges is that we are not marketing our state both for mice and tourism. And secondly, our taxes on hotels is among the highest in the, the country. If there's something could be done on that because the tax structure on the hotels is actually very high. And this could be a great job opportunity. This could actually create a lot of jobs both directly but also for the small businessmen to promote tourist and tourism related activities and for the mice business. So. Neil, we met earlier also, <coughs> we had a lot of discussions. Around the core city of Hyderabad, we have <coughs> HMDA with us, which is about 7,200 square kilometers. There the <coughs> planning was not done in a proper way, the zoning and all that. And every day I receive complaints of heavy corruption. Very, very heavy corruption. Though it was a little painful, we removed some of the senior bureaucrats from the <coughs> highest positions from that organization. We are totally <coughs> relooking at the whole zoning and how to develop this <coughs> HMDU, which is promoting the new nodes of development of Hyderabad. What it should be, what it should not be. <coughs> where the tourism should go, where the other things should go. All that is being looked at now. We are also trying to assign some of these activities, some good international agencies also. Very shortly we will be coming up with that policy. And this free access to power, partially it is being given now in a limited manner because the state generating corporation also is expected to make a living and clear up the loans which have been raised from the <coughs> REC. The REC chairman, I think, yesterday evening he was here in Hyderabad. He handed over me the check of 16,000 crores, which is expected to be spent on the new power to come to us. So there's a striking of balance, how, how far it can be extended to. That matter is also under examination. The Genco authorities and the transport Distributed companies recently we met. The Chief Secretary is looking into the matter. I think shortly we will make our parts very clear. Thank you. Uh, may I request Ajit Gulabchand of HCC, please? Well, sir, having launched upon the reconstruction of Telangana, there are two basic issues I'd like to mention. One is the infrastructure. I think the state needs a clear infrastructure policy, which how much of it will be done by the state and how much will invite private sector to participate. And when I mean by infrastructure, I mean roads, I mean water, I mean all types of it, but particularly in the area of construction. Now here there is very ancient procurement policies, ancient structures that are there, which are not working as well. And there is no clarity and a promise that changes will not be made once concessions are given. Uh, and too often governments have been able to say that we must, we need private sector to bring in more money into infrastructure. I think it's, it's not the best way of looking at it. A better way of looking at it would be to use the private sector energy to, to build this infrastructure faster. So. The, it would be nice to know what would be the infrastructure policy of the state and what kind of road network as a state roads it wishes to build which will link with the national highways on one side. The second question, sir, is that after all, though you are 42 percent uh, urbanized, is basically substantially Hyderabad. You will need more cities that are already there to be improved will need great cities to be created near agricultural produce for 
for uh, so what would be the state's policy in which private sector can participate in creating the city smart and as the prime minister has said that we should have started urbanization 30 years ago yet we we are, we are late now so we should do that faster and we must make it smarter so what is the policy of the state in the urbanization plan beyond hyderabad in which we can all participate we have witnessed two guests coming little late to the meeting one is the minister for industry mr jupal krishna rao another one simati vanita datla who is the chairman of our Telangana CII. They just came late because of the traffic problems in Hyderabad. <laughs> we understand it. We face it every day here. So to overcome these problems in and around Hyderabad, we made very good plans.